Yours Truly, Brevin Thompson is back to talk about Jackass Forever. I know I'm a little bit late on this one, but uh, I finally had a chance to see this with a friend of mine. And this is probably the most fun I've had in the, in the movie theaters, like, so far this year. And when it comes to the Jackass movies in particular, I haven't been, like, a massive fan of these movies. I've... I recall, like, seeing, like, bits of them on TV one time, and that's about it, really. And I've seen, like, one of the spinoffs, I think it was Bad Grandpa, but that's about it, really, as far as my familiarity goes with this franchise. And all I know is that it's just, I mean, you have people just doing stupid shit and just, to, just for the sake of giving people laughs. But when it comes to this one in particular, this... Uh, I was just laughing throughout almost the entire runtime of this film, and the audience that the, was in that auditorium with me, I mean, they were pretty much just laughing their asses off, just about the same as I was. But there was, like, a few moments in particular where I almost could not look at the screen, and I was really worried for the actors because some of the shit they do in this film so dangerous and i was just like oh my god i mean is he is he alive uh, and i mean when they say that he's still breathing i'll be like oh thank god because the last thing that you want is i mean while you're watching a film like this is for like someone like who is like risking a lot to pull up these insane stunts and end up dying and you're just like oh my god i can't believe that happened but thankfully the i mean that's not the case i mean they they really do risk a lot to give us an entertaining film that's all i can say i would say like the two actors that get the most amount of pain is mostly johnny knoxville and steve-o as there's one moment in particular where i could not look at the screen and involves Let's just say it involves Stevo and bees. I was just, <sighs> oh god, I was just like, oh Jesus Christ! I couldn't, I, I, I could not look. I, I swear to you, I was just like, I was like, oh Jesus Christ! And another one involves Johnny Knoxville and a bull. <laughs> I was just like. Oh, when that happened, I was, I mean, if you see the film, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that was, like, the one, that was, like, one of the few nail biters, for sure. I was just like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, like I said, they risk a lot for this film. And you have, like, people on wires giving each other wedgies. <laughs> and some of, some of the stuff that they pull off in this film is just, insane especially the bear and i'm pretty sure you've seen that in the trailer and uh where and especially when you have like these two guys like they have like this uh this tube thing and then you have this giant fucking spider like crawling towards them just like uh, since i'm mostly afraid of spiders i was just like oh jesus <laughs> yeah some of the stuff that they do in this film i, I was just like oh god but still, I mean, most of the stuff that they do in this film is so fucking funny. Uh, like I said, I was laughing my ass off throughout most of the runtime. Uh, there's not much uh, in terms of acting. It's just mostly just you have these actors doing insane stunts. And just, I mean, they're shot well. I mean, uh when they, like, catch, like, a certain moment in the film of some insane stunt, it's beautifully shot, and when they get it at just the right moment, and there's one moment in particular that I love, and it's when they manage to light a fart on fire underwater, and that was, that was definitely pretty interesting. There's never really much that I have to say. I just really had a blast with this film, and... As, despite, like, a few moments, I, this is not a perfect film at all by any means. I mean, this is the type of film that you can just sit with a group of friends or if you're going on a date or something to just sit in a theater and laugh your ass off. If you're looking for a type of movie like that, then I definitely recommend this without hesitation. 
So yeah, I definitely had a lot of fun with Jackass Forever, and I'm gonna give it an A minus. So what'd you all think of the film? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Looking forward to doing more videos really soon. And if you want my thoughts on older new films, of course, you know where to find me.